Hello YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel video everybody. Well, act like YouTube video, a uh, YouTube channel video. I'm so glad to have you guys back here again. So today, we're doing the, I believe the, the part three series of my series, Journey to Spirit, Un Spirit Untamed. And today we're reviewing the film that is actually the film that is leading up to the film, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Now, I was actually I was actually really anticipating this film going into it because, well, I mean, I wasn't really anticipating it. I knew it was about a horse, and I also heard recently that it, it like took place a hundred years ago. And uh, what did I think about it? I'll tell you in just a sec. But before I tell you. Just be sure to let me know, know your thoughts about this movie down below in the comments and tell me what did you think about it. Just I need to know your thoughts. With that said, let's get started. All right, so for me, the best thing about Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron was that the first thing I need to talk about that with this film is that the animation is absolutely stunning. There are some very neat visuals and animation that I I was just mind blown. And I ignore that sound that you just heard. I don't know what that was. But the animation was just fantastic where you had basically just like there were mountains in this movie and they looked very realistic. They looked like they were from a painting. Kind of like what they did in Bambi. Why are we talking about Bambi? This is a DreamWorks film, not a Disney movie. Whatever. But, um, whenever birds were, like, f flying past by, that it even made it more beautiful because it made it a very artistic film. Also, when there was fire or, like, like, there's actually a train that rolls down a hill and then the horse is, like, running from it. Like, it looks so realistic. And I love that. So that's an, one of the things I loved about this film. Another thing I loved about this movie is that the music in here is obviously really good. There's a great soundtrack. I'm not just talking about the music, like the music bits in it. But I'm mostly talking about the soundtrack. The soundtrack is really, really good. It's probably some of the, one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard of DreamWorks films. It fits the film so well they're really singable and it's like it, it gets your it it, it it gets you pumped up for the film and i really like that and also i like how we got to explore horses except it wasn't really something i wanted but we'll get into that when we get into the bad but the story about horses the story of spirit i thought was a pretty interesting story so that's mostly what i love about the film and of course, you know, the characters and the, the way the action was also presented was also really good. So that's what I liked about the film. All right, so now we get into the bad and I'm not gonna say there's, there's not much in this film that I hated or disliked, but for me, there wasn't, there was a couple stuff that did bother me. First off, as a film that, as this film was about horses and I told a horse based story, you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of stories that are about horses when horses are the main characters. It's not really my thing. Because while I do like horses, they're not my favorite animals to do for, um, main, for main characters or main stories. Um, but th they handled it beautifully, and they handled it well, but I don't, I'm, it's not, I'm not the fan of that. That's just something I, I don't like, and they do. Um, also, I was a little just disappointed because as we kind of, because I thought the horses were going to talk in this movie, since mostly all animated films have and the animals talking, except they kind of had Matt Damon narrate this film as spirit but and if and that's 
that part of the film felt a lot like A Dog's Way Home in a, in the a Dog's Purpose in a, in a Dog's movies, where the where the dog would be like narrating the dog that plays the person that that narr is the person a person narrates as the dog, and he's talking as the dog. And that, that just doesn't really do well. I think that the narration of the dogs in a, the, a dog's movies are well done in this film. But I still thought that the narrating in this film was still good. It told the story in a really good way. Um, so that's really it. Oh, one more thing I do have to say is that the horse spirit keeps after they they get him he keeps trying to escape and like some of the story scenes don't really make sense while it does explain while it is explained beautifully with with the animals it's not explained well with 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 the care with the human characters so that's something i just did not like he tries to keep escaping and it's like it tries to do all these positive messages especially with the mute with the soundtrack and the soundtrack tries to give these powerful messages about, about fighting your own fight and doing everything you can. It doesn't really do that that well. That's uh, some parts of the soundtrack that I didn't like. But everything else I thought was really good. So that is my thoughts on the spirit, spirit styling of the Cimarron. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Remember, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So now, let's get into those scores. Alright, so that is it for my Alright, so that is it for my one not one division review. Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron review. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments of this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate did you hate it? Um, have you seen it? Were you right there in the middle? Just let me let me know what your thoughts about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share. Just do anything you can to get my subscribers up, my views up, my comments up, my likes up, my um just just do everything to support me please i'm not i'm not saying i want to become youtube famous but i wanna i wanna be the best at this youtube thing so please keep supporting me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye